Do you suffer from wonky borders? Welcome to the Naked Photographer, where I'll be exposing myself. No, 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 I won't. Mm -hmm. I sound better in my head. I have a couple of different sizes of four bladed easel from Saunders. Sometimes the blades get a little out of whack and they're not quite square to one another. And that creates borders that taper from wide to narrow. And I don't like that. I like my borders to be nice and even all the way around. So these can actually be adjusted fairly easily. Um, now I'm gonna be using the Saunders four bladed easel. If you have something different, don't worry, I'm, I didn't forget about you. I only have limited resources, so I'll cover other models as I'm able to get a hold of them. For now though, I want to show you on the 11 by 14 model, the 20 by 24 is adjusted exactly the same way. So to do this, you're going to need a few tools. First off, a flat bladed screwdriver is uh, going to be the main tool that we're going to use, as well as a square and a small ruler. Once you have all your tools assembled, I suggest you start with the blade at the very top. And the reason is because your paper slides underneath these bars um, in the little slots right here. And you can't change that. And you really want that top border to be parallel to that. So pick your favorite size. I'm gonna be using 11 by 14 in this, um, in this example. <clears throat> and look and see if it runs parallel with that line. Mine is off just enough that it'll throw everything out of place. So I'm going to scoot this just to the edge of the table because underneath each of these guides is a small, uh, two small uh, flat headed screwdriver or uh, screws. And that's where the screwdriver comes into place. So I'm going to loosen these up. You don't need them super loose. You don't need them super loose or anything, just enough to move around. And now I can move this quite easily. This is stationary. So get that exactly where you want it to be. There, that's parallel to that. And then tighten the screws back up. Don't try to crank the screw down um, one screw really tight and then the other. Tighten each a little bit at a time to keep that from moving on you. Once you have that set in place, tighten it down completely and then I like to just double check make sure it's parallel to the bar here that's not as important as being parallel to the um, the groove but just in case I'll check that too and what I'm measuring here is just the distance from the near side of the groove to the blade. It's a centimeter. That's a centimeter. So that is parallel. So this is parallel to the groove. Now I'm going to take my square and I'm just going to check each of the four sides to see if it's square to that one. So this one is off just a little. Just carefully check its alignment. Once you have it, hold it down and tighten the screws up slowly. Alright, that looks good. Let's do the other side. Oh yeah, that one's off quite a bit. Okay. There we 
go. Double check. All right, good job there. And then this last one. to check and make sure um, double check you can compare the distance but that's trusting that the frame is square as well should be but may not always be yeah that's pretty even and now my easel is all squared up so my borders will be nice and straight and even edge to edge as I can get other easels, I'll cover those on how to get them square. Uh, in the meantime, please like, comment, and subscribe.